Something I'm thinking about right now is the kintsugi that I've done, which has really become for me a symbol of hope and healing. And so kintsugi is this Japanese art form that symbolizes healing. Um, and usually, you know, if we break something, like if a bowl was broken, mm -hmm. you'd probably just want to get a new one or have it, you know, repaired so it looks flawless again. But kintsugi kind of embraces and enhances those breaking points by highlighting them um, with gold uh, lacquer or glue as it's put back together. And I love that because at least how I see it in my life is you might have gone through something that's really difficult, whether it was because of, you know, just the trials of mortality, your own choices or the choices of others. And you might be tempted to want to just, I don't know, have <laughs> gone, have, you know, just maybe never gone through those things mm -hmm. um, it, or, you know, I don't know, maybe just forget about them um, and appear flawless to other people or, or, I don't know, get back to a place where you never knew that kind of pain before. But the kintsugi to me is like highlighting those places that Christ has come into your life. It's a way to say, you, you, you know, he can come in and heal you. You have these broken parts and that's actually where he can enter into your life. And you don't want to hide that. Uh, I think without Christ, you do, you, you feel the shame or you just feel embarrassment or mm -hmm. regret or remorse. But when you let Christ in, it's actually this joyful, beautiful thing to show people, you know, that he has been a part of my life. He has been here. Mm -hmm.